Hi, my name is John Sawash, and I'd like to walk you through the appropriate way to configure Google Meet for remote learning. Teachers, students have been spending a lot of time learning inside of Google Meet, and there's been a lot of frustration by teachers, students, parents. Many of those frustrations can be solved by making sure that Google Meet is configured correctly. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up Google Meet the correct way. These settings will prevent your students from joining Google Meet sessions early before the teacher. They'll also prevent students from creating their own rogue Google Meet sessions and inviting their friends to do whatever they want. Um, these settings will prevent students from reusing the link the teacher created when school is not in session, when the teacher is not present. So if your teachers are you know, using Google Classroom, Calendar, Google Meet to create those links, once the students have it, you can prevent them from reusing that link. And then finally, I'll also show you how to uh, prevent students from rejoining a Meet session if they have been removed by the teacher. So maybe they've been removed because they're in the wrong class, they're in the wrong spot, or because um, they did something inappropriate. So we'll walk through all of these settings. It's actually pretty straightforward to set up. Now, in order to make these changes, you will need access to the Google Admin Console. This is not a video for teachers or parents or students. This video will uh, specifically talk about um, how IT admins, tech directors can manage Google Meet inside of the Google Admin Console. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna log in to the Admin Console. Here's our home screen. And we're going to go to the app section of the console. That's where you can configure all the G Suite or Google Workspace products. Uh, we're going to click on Google Workspace. And this will list all the different Google services currently active within our domain. We're going to find Google Meet on the list. Um, now, there is an on-off switch for Google Meet. You do want Meet on for any user who needs to access it. If you disable the Google Meet service, no matter what, they will not be able to join a Google Meet session, okay? So my Google Meet settings are on for some. I have a couple of OUs where uh, it is disabled, but for all of my staff, all of my student accounts, um, Google Meet is on for them. Let's go ahead and open up Google Meet. I'm gonna click right on it. And it's gonna take me to this kind of a weird looking page. Um, you need to click one more time, so right now you're here on the Meet Video settings, you're just gonna click anywhere. That will actually open up the different options and let us make some changes to them. Now, there's really only one thing that we're going to be changing on this page, uh, and that is this one right here, video calling. Uh, we want video calling on for teachers, and staff members, and off for students. In order to do that, you must have organizational units set up for your domain. And the organizational units, or OUs, are these things that appear over here on the left side of uh, your screen. Now, you can configure this however you want. Some schools do it by building, by grade level, by graduation year. But at minimum, you need an OU for staff and an OU for teachers because we have to have two different policies uh, for Google Meet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my staff OU. This includes my administrators, my teachers, instructional staff, support staff. Click on staff, and I want to make sure that video calling is on for them. This will allow them to create Meet links and start video calls. Then I'm going to go to my student OU and I want to make sure that video calling is off. Students can join a video call, but they cannot create their own video calls. This will require that a staff member who has video calling permissions is present in the session and will prevent students from rejoining Meet Links once that session has ended or uh, expires. That's it. That really is all it takes to set up Google Meet correctly. Now, there are a few more details that I want to discuss with you. 
you have done everything you need to inside of the admin console, but you do need to educate your teachers on the appropriate way to start and end a Google Meet session. Now your teachers can create their Meet link from Google Calendar, Google Meet itself, or Google Classroom, whichever they prefer. Uh, students will not be able to get in to those sessions unless the teacher is present. That's what we just configured. So the student can click on the link anytime they want, and if the teacher's not there, it'll just say, waiting for teacher. Once the teacher is present, um, they can enter the room. Now, Google Meet has a new feature called Quick Access. So I'll go ahead and open up a Google Meet session here to show you this. Um, I, quick Access, you know, could be good, could be bad, depends on, you know, your perception and, and what you want to happen. Um, so a teacher can join a session. When you look down at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see this little shield icon. Uh, click on that shield, and this is Quick Access. Now, Quick Access is on by default. When Quick Access is on, it means any user within your domain will be allowed to automatically join the Google Meet session, provided that a teacher is present. So I am the, the meeting host, the teacher. Any student or any member from my domain could join without requesting permission. If teachers are uncomfortable with that, if they wish to allow students to join, kind of turn on the waiting room, uh, you would disable quick access. And when a student joins, they will click the link, but it will require the teacher to accept them into the meeting. You'll see their name and you can accept or reject uh, that individual. So you can decide, your teachers will need, just need to decide if they want quick access on or off. They need to manually do that for themselves. It's not an admin console uh, setting that you can adjust. So that's the beginning of the session. They can decide quick access on or off. At the end of the session, the teacher needs to remove all of the students from the Google Meet session. So when the teacher ends the session, it will not just automatically kick out uh, whoever is there. The room will remain open as long as someone is present. I mean, it's just like a locked room. If you go into a locked room, someone knocks on the door, you can let them in. If the room is empty, you can knock all you want, but there's no one inside to let you in. So if a teacher wants to make sure that the Meet session is ended and over, they need to be the last person to exit the session. Um, teachers can remove students uh, by clicking on their little profile picture and you'll see the remove button. Unfortunately, at this time, there's no remove all. It would be really nice, Google, if you could add that, that would be awesome. Uh, but uh, Teachers, again, will need to remove all of the students. That will reset the link so that students click on it, they won't be able to get back in until the teacher, uh, again, is present once more. So three things to do, adjust the session, uh, the meet settings in the admin console, and then educate your teachers on the correct way to begin and end uh, their virtual sessions. If you've enjoyed this video, stick around. I'm gonna give you access to a playlist with more Google admin tips and tricks.